Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to show you something really cool in Sony Vegas. This would work with both Sony Vegas Pro as well as Movie Studio. So you don't have to get the super expensive $600, $700 version to do this. You can use it with the standard consumer version, which is Movie Studio. Now, it does have to be version 11 or higher, I believe, for Pro and 12 or higher for Movie Studio for this to work. So if you have an older version than that, then you may not be able to do this. I just wanted to give you guys a fair warning. I'm using Movie Studio 12 personally, which I bought back in 2012. Uh, but anyways, here is a video that I recently worked on um, titled, If Deus Ex Mankind Divided Trailer Was Done Like Mighty Number no. 9 Trailer. And basically, it's a spoof of the Mighty Number no. 9 Masterclass Trailer. That's, you know, obviously meant to be really terrible, and uh, you can check out the link in the description if you want to see the trailer itself. Um, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to some stuff here. We're going to check some of the project files and things like that. As you see, um, we've got the different settings here. We've got clips. Everything is set up. So we're going to go ahead and just render the video. This is a 720p video that I'm rendering here. We're going to go ahead and render that. So let's go ahead and locate Internet HD 720p. I'm using the main concept AVC slash AAC, which I think is the best one to use, honestly, for YouTube. Uh, because it actually uses the MP4 format. It looks crisp and clear. You have a lot of controls and customization over the templates and so on. But we're using just the default HD 720p for the rendering speed. And so I'm going to cut the direct feed for a second, and I'm going to show you the recording of it on the camera to show you how long it takes to render this one minute video. Okay, so this video is actually just about finished rendering. This was just a one minute video, and you saw how long it took. It took about three minutes and 40 seconds, roughly, uh, to complete the rendering. Uh, this might be, it's like I said, this is just for a one minute video in 720p. This is probably the woes that a lot of Sony Vegas people go through is rendering speeds that are slow as dirt, where the video is super slow and choppy as it's rendering. Um, I want to show you guys a much better way to do this now. Now back to the direct capture. And I want to show you guys some very key things that you need to keep in mind. Now, this first thing is sort of optional, although if you're doing gameplay footage, like I do typically, you probably would want to always do that regardless, um, because it actually does speed things up a little bit, but it also makes the video look better, which I'll do that on another time. I'll explain why that is. But um, you're going to want to right-click on the video overlay here on one of the clips and click Properties. And you'll see where it says Smart Resample. It's got a little bubble next to it. And then you have a couple other choices. Force Resample and Disable Resample. You'll want to select Disable Resample. And you'll want to make sure that you change it for all of the video clips on here. A <laughs> little preview of pizza. Okay. So you want to make sure to select Disable Resample. Okay. Now this will speed things up somewhat. Uh, it's not going to make a huge improvement, but it will. You'll probably have a noticeable improvement uh, to the rendering speed. I guess I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. So let's go ahead and switch back to the camera and wait for the rendering to complete. Here we are again. The video is rendering. Now we're almost finished with the video. You might notice how it plays the video back as it's rendering. And it looks a little bit choppy as it continues to do so. Uh, but we are almost finished with this now. And we already noticed there is some improvement with Disable Resample. But not quite as much as we want. Um, it only shaved about roughly 15 seconds off the rendering time. So, the, like I said, this is just a small part of it. There's actually a much bigger important step that we're going to take. I'm going to show you guys now. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the direct feed. Okay, so here we are now again. Uh, this time, I'm going to show you the most important step. You do have to do this in order to get the much faster rendering speeds, which you'll see 
uh, but you have to go to options up here, up at the top, and then select preferences at the bottom menu. Uh, then you'll get these tabs here. Make sure to select the video tab, and you'll see a bunch of things here. We only need to look at one thing, where it says GPU acceleration of video processing. And by default, it's turned off. At least it is for Movie Studio. It might be on with Pro, I'm not sure, but you'll want to make sure to select the appropriate option here. Now, I've got an AMD GPU that's built in via an APU, but I also have an AMD GPU for my actual graphics card. So that's why you see two different AMD options here. If you're using an NVIDIA card, you'll see the appropriate NVIDIA option as well for that. Uh, but if you're an AMD user like me, of course, you would just select the AMD option that you see fit. If you're an NVIDIA user, you would select that option. Uh, if you're not sure what to select, like you notice with this, for example, with AMD, you see Cayman and Bre Beaver Creek. Which one should I select? Well, I've already have Cayman selected because that's the one that my dedicated GPU is using, whereas Beaver Creek is the APU, so it's not going to be as good. Uh, but you'll still notice an improvement regardless, but you want to obviously select the best one you can. So I'm going to do that, of course. Uh, then you click Apply to save your changes. OK. OK, so that's only going to be part of it. That alone is not going to do anything for you here. Um, so the other part of it is once you have the video up and ready to render, you're going to go ahead and click on Project. And you're going to select Render As, just like you always would to save. Now, originally we use Internet HD 720p. Now, another reason why you have to have 12 or later is because you need this customized template button to be able to do what you need to do. Um, so we're going to go ahead and select Customize Template. And it shows us the details of the template that we're going to be using. This is the default 720p ABC slash AAC that you have an option here. So you, of course, choose your resolution, your frame rate, which, by the way, if you're using Movie Studio, it only goes up to 30. But if you mainly type in 60, it will allow, actually allow you to render 60 frames videos. It just doesn't have it in the Dropbox for some reason. Um, you can pretty much ignore the rest of the stuff. You might want to possibly change the bit rate if you, you know, have like a crappy internet connection. You don't want it to take as long to, uh, upload, although it's not going to really have an impact on how long it's going to take to render. This is what we're looking at right here. The encode mode, uh, by default, Sony Vegas has it set to render using CPU only. So you go ahead and click on that and you'll see a couple different other choices we can select. You'll see render using OpenCL if available and render using CUDA if available. Uh, basically, you will use OpenCL if you're an AMD user and you'll use CUDA if you're an NVIDIA user. Otherwise, it, you know, just choose one of the two. I think maybe if you're using an Intel GPU, you probably use OpenCL for them also. So since we're using AMD here in this case, Render using OpenCL if available. So go ahead and OK. Um, to say the change, of course. Now, since we're just modifying the existing one, this will just add a star, which means it's just a temporary change. We didn't actually save this template. It's just going to use it for this one render. So now we're going to go ahead and render this and see how long it takes. So we're going to switch back to the camera. Guys, this technical wizardry. Uh, this thing is screaming fast. This is literally going faster than the actual video. As you can see, you know, it's just like flashing before our eyes. And wow, that is extremely fast. It took us 31 seconds. Can you believe it? 31 seconds to render a video that previously took us three hours, or not three hours, but three minutes and 40 seconds. Like I said, this is just for a one minute clip, but... As you can imagine, if you're doing like a, say, a 10 minute clip, it's only going to take a few minutes to render it. You know, it's going to be really smoking fast. And so I, you know, highly recommend that you guys do this um, if you've got the newer versions of Vegas. And if you don't, you need to look into upgrading through whatever means you have. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Uh, but till then, down Phoenix out.